Okay, so in today's video, I'm gonna take you for an Edmonton train ride, locally known as the LRT. But before we head over to the train station, I've learned from experience that we're gonna need a ticket before we get there, so we're gonna head over to 7-Eleven and grab some tickets. Okay, so I have the tickets and we're headed over to Bay Station downtown to take the LRT. The LRT runs below ground in downtown for two of the lines. There is an upcoming line that will be running above ground in the downtown, but for now, they are found underground. So currently Edmonton has two LRT lines, the Capital Line and the Metro Line. The Capital Line is the original line and it runs north to south. The Metro Line runs from downtown to Nate. Today we're gonna to be taking the Capital Line all the way from the north to the south. I'm going to show you what the LRT stations are like, what it's like to ride the LRT, and any tips or tricks along the way. So you're actually allowed to bring dogs onto the LRT. This is base station here, but they have to be in a bag. So I'm gonna put Mila in the bag. Sometimes people feel like the LRT is unsafe. Um, we can get a lot of homeless people or people just hanging out that may make it uncomfortable. Some people, I can see that right through these doors here, there are people sitting on the stairs. So I'm just gonna sneak by them and hope for the best. here you're supposedly be able to get tickets but the last time I was here the only thing it took was coins I don't know about you I barely carry cash I definitely do not have coins for this machine so I ended up having to go all the way to 7-eleven get a ticket and then come back this time I'm a little bit more prepared and we have a ticket Pretty soon these machines are gonna be obsolete. There is a new arc system, which is on these machines. Like this. And they're piloting it right now with students, mostly students and maybe other select few people. And it'll allow you to just like fill up the card and tap it and go. And there'll be a maximum limit that you're gonna be spending. And once you reach that limit, the rest of the day is completely free. <laughs> But right now, you either have to get one of these tickets from 7-Eleven, bring coins, or be in the ARC piloting system. One of the major differences you're going to notice about the LRT stations in Edmonton versus other major cities is that there is actually no barricade between the not pay side, which I'm on, and the pay side, which is actually across the slide. You have to have a validated ticket um, to be on that side or else you'll be subject to a penalty. So you take your ticket and you put it in the ticket validator. It stamps you for the time because these are only good for 90 minutes. Okay, let's head down to the station. This is where we're going to leave the underground and go above ground. Stadium station is the first station going north above ground.
says no feet on the sea, but I can barely touch, so it'd be nice if I could put my feet up. So here we are at the end of the line, Clairview Station. Now we have the Capital Line and the Metro Line, but you're not gonna be able to tell that just by looking at the train. The sign on the train is going to have the last station for each end to know which way you're going. So if you're headed north, the train is gonna say Clairview. That's the last north station. And if you're heading south, the station is gonna say Century Park which is the last South Station, and we're headed there next. This is the stadium yard. It's an up-and-coming area Thanks. in Edmonton. These are rentals. So before I tell you about what I learned on the train, when I asked a fellow passenger if he feels like it's safe, I want to tell you a little bit about the McKernan Belgravia station. What I really love about this station is how close it is to houses. This station is easily the closest station to houses and really, really actually walking distance. So many stations are sort of close to houses, but you know, on those really cold days, I don't know how much you want to walk over to the LRT station. Okay, so as for safety of the LRT, this passenger has been taking the LRT for three years since he's moved here to Canada. And he said that he felt like it was quite unsafe during the evening hours, especially since the pandemic, it just felt like people or Peace officers or security aren't paying as enough attention to what's happening. And I don't know if that's true or not, but that's just what it feels like. He recently had a situation uh, with a friend who he rides the train with normally, but he wasn't working that day. At 8.15 at night, she got pushed onto the tracks at the health science stop. That's at the university hospital stop. You wouldn't expect something like that to happen there. So for LRT safety, he recommended that you try to take the LRT during daylight hours and um, it's pretty safe during daylight hours. If you have to take it at night, be very cautious and aware of your surroundings. Keep your wits about you and travel during the day. So we're going to get back on the train and head to the end of the line on the south side, which is Century Park.
we say we're wrong. And if you can believe it, there is actually no stop for you can see any back from the south gate or all the way to Century Park. that wraps up our tour of Edmonton train the LRT we're here at Corona station we're gonna head back into downtown if you like this video please click that like button and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that little bell so you don't miss out on videos I'm trying to post weekly see you in the next one bye